happy day everyone i am dr aparna fertility specialist garbagudi ivf today's topic is about tubal patency test what is tubal patency test so the this is the test to diagnose whether the tubes that is from the uh, the uterine tubes are open or is there any blockage in the tubes why it should be done so normally when the egg is released every month when it when the egg is really means ovulated the egg enters the tubes so when the husband and wife have intercourse the sperms which are deposited in the vagina it reaches the uterus and reaches the tube only in the tube the egg and the sperm meet get fertilized form the embryo divide for 5 days and it has to come back and sit in the uterus for implantation so the tubal test patency or the tubal patency test is very important uh, to know when the couple are trying for one year if the pregnancy is not uh, happening or when we have tried with simple measures when the pregnancy is not happening then we have to uh, thoroughly evaluate whether the tubes are uh, open patent or it is blocked what are all the other indications where we have to test the tubes and then uh we have to proceed with the fertility treatment if the woman has undergone previous any surgeries which can alter the tubo ovarian anatomy or if there was any previous surgery for the tubes like tubal block surgery or was there any previous ectopic surgeries then we have to confirm whether the tubes are open or whether the tubes are blocked before we go for the fertility treatment what are all the tests for the tubal patency test we have two options indirect tubal patency test and the direct tubal patency test in the indirect tubal patency test we have two options called hysterosalpingography and sal- saline sonosalpingography in hysterosalpingography we are injecting a radio sensitive dye inside the uterus and taking a x ray and seeing whether the tubes are open or blocked in saline sonosalpingography we are injecting a saline media and seeing in the ultrasonography vaginal ultrasound and we are seeing whether the tubes are blocked or open how the uterine cavity and other informations the direct uh, tubal patency test is through laparoscopy where it's a keyhole surgery where we put a camera through the umbilicus into the um, into the abdomen and see the uterus and both the tubes and we push the dye from the uterine cavity and see whether the tube whether the fluid is freely flowing through the tubes or is there any blockage the advantage of direct or invasive uh, testing through hysterolaparoscopy is in the meanwhile uh, we can do any con- uh, any corrections also if required and it is more confirmatory and we can do the correction also at the same site and what are all the types of tubal block it can be proximal tubal block or it can be distal tubal block proximal tubal block is where the from the uterus where the tubes are opening the tubes are blocked the distal tubal block is where the tubes are opening at the end to pick the egg at that area the tubes are blocked so if there is a proximal tubal block we can correct it through the hysterolaparoscopy and tubal cannulation if there is a distal tubal block we will see why there is a re- why why there is a distal tubal block is there any flimsy adhesions or is there any uh, altered pathology so we will try to correct it and get the uh, tubes patent but what is the common cause for this tubal block it could be because of some infection tuberculosis is endemic in india it could be because of the uh, uh, tuberculosis tuberculosis affecting the tubes or it could be because of previous any surgeries it could be because of any pelvic inflammatory diseases infections in the pelvic cavity so what is the treatment for tubal block if it is due to uh, infectious causes we would like we would be giving you the antibiotics if it is the tb is proven we will be giving the anti tb treatment to correct the tubal block uh, i mean uh, the tubal pathology and then continue with the fertility treatment or if there is any unknown majority of the times we don't know what is the reason for the tubal block so if there is only single site tubal block unilateral site tubal block we can give you simple fertility uh, measures or if there is a bilateral tubal block then we have to go with the higher treatment that is the in vitro fertilization treatment and uh, put the do i mean uh, ivf treatment and then transfer the 
uh, embryos inside the uterine cavity where the fertilization has been done outside that is in the laboratory so this is all about the tubal patency tests thank you